Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 14 collectibles here in the Gorge Crash site in Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, as always, some of these collectibles will need special abilities to get to. So if you're not able to get to one of these collectibles, just progress further through the main story and eventually you will unlock the ability you need. Now for our first location, we're gonna start right here at the meditation point here in the Gorge Crash site. So it's right at the beginning, pretty hard to miss. What we're gonna do is go over here to these boxes and we're gonna be able to jump up here and once you jump up on the boxes, come up on the ledge and up here, you'll have your first chest. Now, after grabbing your first chest, we're going to head over here to the left side of the elevator. So we'll work our way this way. This is the giant elevator here in the site. And if you go around the back, we'll have a small pond and in the middle of this pond, you'll be able to use BD1 to get yourself your second collectible. Now, after grabbing this one, our third one's going to be really close by. If we continue towards the back end of the pond, you guys are going to see this cool little stone structure that we have here. Now, if it doesn't give you the ability to scan it, you'll need to take out the little yellow monster that's in the area, as you guys can see here on the screen. But once doing so, you can come right over here to this little guy and we can scan it and be able to get our third collectible. And once you get this one, we're going to turn to the right and we'll have a wall here that we can wall run on. We're going to want to jump up and wall run on this and eventually get ourselves up on this ledge here once you get up on this ledge you have a little bird's nest that we can interact with and this will be where you can get your next one for our next one we're going to head back over to the meditation area and from the circle we're going to go toward our first chest that we got and we want to destroy a plant that's over here so you guys can see that we have these little green orbs floating around this plant if we destroy this with a lightsaber, we'll be able to get ourselves a new seed. Now, after you grab the seed here, we're going to follow these rocks and go all the way around the back here. And we're going to encounter a wall that we can run on. So we're going to go ahead and wall run here. We'll go across and then we'll jump to this rock. And you guys will see a cave that we can enter. Now, you'll probably encounter a couple droids over here you'll need to take out. But instead of going into the main cave area, we're going to go left. And once we're inside, we can wall run on this wall on the left side, jump up on this ledge. And right here is where you'll be able to find your next collectible. Now, once you pick this one up, we're going to turn around and we're going to actually go into the cave. So we'll work our way back out of this little alleyway and take a left. Again, you'll encounter some droids that are hanging out in here that you'll need to take out. And once doing so, we can go up here and go down this dark path. Now, your next collectible is going to be found at the end of the path next to about three little rocks on top of each other. It's right here across from this big metal bar. Uh, but once you come over here, you can scan the ground next to these rocks and be able to get your next collectible. Now, after grabbing this one, we're going to continue to work through the cave. So keep going in the direction that you were. Eventually, you'll come across a little crack that you can slip through. And what we're going to do is jump up over here. We can jump across to this ledge. And once we get over here, you can see we have vines. We're going to jump up on the vines and then we can jump to the left onto this platform. And you can just keep moving left until we get to the little overlook here. You'll probably have a droid hanging out here you'll need to take out. And once doing so, we can jump across this pipe. And you will see this plant that's located right here as soon as you jump, jump across the pipe. If you take out this plant, you'll be able to get yourself another seed pod. So for your next location, after you grab the seed pod here, instead of taking the zip line, we're going to go up on these vines and we're going to work our way across. And essentially what our goal is to make it to the tar pit. So. We're gonna jump all the way across here. I'll show you guys exactly how to get here in case you get lost or confused and jump up on the ledge. And once you get over here, we can actually wall run across. So you can wall run here. Once doing so, you can jump across. And after you get here, we'll come over here in this corner. You can jump up on this rock and wall run again. And this is how you get to the tar pits. So once you get here, if you're new to the game, your tar will be a little bit lower. Uh, I've already gone through it, so the tar is already lifted up. But essentially what you want to do is go over to this platform. And once you do, you can pick up a droid and throw it over here at the dam and it'll make the tar rise. But once the tar rises, it's really easy to get this collectible is all you have to do is inspect the tar. So if you just stand here on the ledge, you'll probably get this collectible on accident it'll just pop up right here in front of you once you get the tar to rise again you just use the force and throw the droid right where i'm looking so it'll break the dam and the tar will rise up now our next collectible is going to be really close by you can actually see it right up here on this ledge if you have the dash you can just jump and dash across and you'll be able to open it right here if you don't all you need to do is work your way around you can run on top of that thing run around here, jump across, and you'll be able to get your next collectible right here. Now, our next collectible, you're not going to be able to get until you unlock Force Lift, which is much, much later in the game, but it's going to be found just behind this chest. You guys can see there's a ship that's down underneath all this tar. Once you unlock Force Lift, you can lift that ship out of the water, and once doing so, you will have one of your collectibles spawn on the ship. You can go across and pick it up. Now, our last one over here by the tar pits is going to be found behind the droid. So if we jump up from the boat here where the droid is, 
There's a small little tree back here on the edge of the tar pit. If you come back here, you guys can see the little green orbs against these rocks. Go ahead and pull out your lightsaber and destroy that little bush and you'll be able to get your next seed pod. Now to get our remaining two collectibles here in the area, we wanna head back over to the meditation site at the very beginning. And once we get here, you wanna face the elevator. Your first collectible is gonna be the bush that's next to the elevator. So if you come to the left side, you'll find a bush over here with the green orbs. Just destroy that bush and you'll get collectible number 13. And to get your 14th collectible, we wanna get the elevator to go up without actually riding it. So you can jump on it, let it take off, jump off. And underneath here, later in the game, you'll be able to use force push. And once doing so, you can go down inside and this is where you will find your force tier. So go ahead and go inside, fight the bosses. And once doing so, you will have all the collectibles here in the Gorge Crash Site. But this is how to get all 14 collectibles here in the Gorge Crash Site. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.